love to go out in that. But for today's video, good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, I'm back to the Nürburgring. For today's video, we have a lap in this G82 M4 by Schmidtmann from Sweden. Yes, so when it arrived at Apex, I already noticed, I think it's a four-steiner grill, right, on the yeah, front. Right. So four-steiner aero, but the sides, I haven't seen these before, so what are those actually? Actually, it's Flossma, so it's a German manufacturer. Yeah. So the hood and the fenders and the, re the rear wing. Okay. It's from the same manufacturer, Flossma. Nice, so, so it's like a duck. Carbon. Yeah, carbon, you can, I like the pattern of it. Yeah. So you can see like the carbon fiber pattern actually already through the, is it wrap or paint? No, it's paint. It's, it's paint. paint. Yeah, it's actually the original paint, but... Thunder Knight Metallic? No, it's a Venezia Violet. Oh, okay. Never heard of it before, but really love these uh, shades of, uh, of purple on, uh, uh, on BMWs for sure. And the swan neck wing. So when you first look at the car, it's already like quite a serious appearance. Also on the back, we have Super Sprint exhaust. And which wheels are those? Apex. Apex, Apex wheels. Uh, rear brakes are stock-ish, I guess? Yeah, or? stock uh, discs with the M-Performance uh, pads. Mm -hmm. And then Nanking Air 1 tire, so you're running square setup? Or is no. it staggered? So 305 on the rear, and then on the front, I guess, 275. Nice, nice. Uh, and which pads are you on the front? Sorry? Which pads are you on the front? Same, The same, also in performance. Yeah. It's actually quite a very good performance, I must say, for yeah, yeah, a manufacturer. It's my first time testing them, and I, I was checking around for different like suppliers, and nobody could really supply me that fast, so mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'm just going to try with the and performance pads and uh, I think they were great. So. Do you run additional brake cooling? No. No? no. And they're holding out okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we had really big issues with our with ours, like stock pads would be gone after a lap, I would say, on the in the taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a few uh, track days at home with the stock pads. Like, yeah. And so this is just my second. Uh, okay. Like. That's good. Good to get a that's good, that's good. Uh, yeah, for the rest, power is stuck, you told me. Yeah, we only have like the only performance done with it. It's like Super Sprint downpipes, so yeah. catless. Uh, the OPA filters are still there. Yeah. And we have the Super Sprint rear exhaust, like the rear silencer. So, uh, yeah, but otherwise, like the ECU is not open or anything. It's, it's stuck in the engine. Okay. And then on the interior is also fully stock. Seats, the, the bucket seats, of course, and... Uh, is the steering wheel also stuck? I guess so. Because That's the, M performance. Yeah, That's so it has a nice, nice uh, stitching, nice Alcantara, really much like. I guess that's pretty much it. Did yeah, we miss any? The KWV4. Ah, that's uh, very important. Uh, yeah. Coilover is also in wheelway top mounts that is adjustable. Okay. So that's like we've been trying to focus more on like the grip. Nice, nice. And you had this car not too long, you said? No, or like we got it in April, I think, yeah. March or April. And it's the first time you're running it with the new suspension here yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's actually quite a lot of uh, dry, uh, yeah, testing. Yeah, we did. With, we went with a like KW sleeve kit, you know, with the yeah. shock absorbers yeah. first. Just made a few track days, but it was like way too soft. So yeah, yeah. Um, we got a good deal from KW. Yeah. Just like take these and. Try. It's good. No, it's been. Uh, it was very good. So as mentioned, we already did a lap, and it was quite impressive. I was very happy uh, to see that the car was very stable. Most importantly, very good driving. Thanks. Like it was uh, for, for your limited experience on this track. Yeah. It was. Uh, you had very good car control in terms of you could go through corners with good speed. So it was. It was nice. Okay, I think you're probably bored by now of all the talking. So enjoy the lap. So you had some good uh, laps so far. Yeah, good cars. Yeah. I drove uh, 996 GT3, Manta Racing. Okay. It's my favorite car of all times yeah. to drive here. Yeah, the feedback is so good through the car. It's, it's amazing.
wake up. This car is very well set up. Yeah, it feels. Uh, we just got the new chassis, like a KW V4 installed. Okay. So this is actually the, my first track day with this new uh, suspension setup. Uh huh. Yeah, nice. it feels feels much better now than uh, than it did before. 
No, it feels really good. Yes, the first G series that I actually experienced on yeah. really uh, like this amount of setup. Yeah. So like aero and uh, the yeah the, the suspension and also semi slicks, brakes, tires. W what power are you running? Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Yeah. Yeah. So we there is like uh, we have a uh, super sprint uh, downpipes and uh, rear exhaust, but the uh, you know OPF filters yeah. and everything is still there. Okay. So. Uh, Nice. So I mean, they restrict a lot, of course, but to if we if we remove the OPF filters, we have to unlock the ECU. Yeah. And right now, there's only like one company who can mm. unlock it, and we don't want to like send the ECU away for two weeks in the middle of the season. Makes sense. But now it's the last track day for this year, so. So later you can. Yeah, I think so. But it. but the power, I mean. Power is enough. Yeah. It is. It just you might like the the torque delivery or something you might yeah. adjust or so, but uh, for the rest it's good. Yeah, it's it's totally enough. I mean, I had a F eighty two M four before, and uh, it's uh, I mean compared to that one, this one is much faster. It is. Though, like even a stage two F eighty two, then this one is still faster. Yeah. Stock, so it's. Uh, it's yeah, the only thing is like with all these mods, you start feeling how lazy the gearbox is. Yeah, like the, yeah. Like you feel it's already the delay of shifts. Is, yeah, it is like, sometimes. Uh, uh, when a car is stuck, it's hidden away quite nicely. Yeah. But now it's uh, yeah, it becomes a thing. No, it's awesome. Like, really cool. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, very much. And you didn't have many laps, you said. No, no. no I was here like uh, 10 years ago. I had an E46 M3 then. So, but we just went for like one tourist drive. I only had three laps. Yeah. So 10 years ago, then I came here yesterday, and we drove two laps at the tourist. Yeah. Uh, and then today. But before some sim practice. And... Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, <laughs> lots of uh, eye racing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. okay uh, so, of course, it, it, uh, it helps a lot with the sim. Yeah, for sure. But I still like, when I went here, I was like, damn, I, I don't, still don't know exactly where I am at the yeah. track, you know? But it feels much easier when you actually experience it in real life because there's a lot of things to see that you recognize where you are. The track. Yeah. Of course, it takes a longer to, to memorize the whole track. Yes. Yeah. It's long, but. Um, that's good. That, yeah, I mean, hopefully we could easily do like even better lap times if we, we can a few times here. The things that I noticed uh, use more of track surface in certain areas. Yeah. So, for example, the first one in so here you can go quite long flat. Yeah. You can keep it almost flat till the uphill right curbstone. Yeah. Like flat, and then you just lift to settle the car to turn in, and then you go on the brakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here you went like after the dip, you went already on the brakes. Yeah. And you can carry so much more speed, especially now with the new pavement, new yeah. tarmac. There you can wait a lot of time. Um, the in Hatzenbach, so like this, uh, the two two kilometer sign. Yeah. You know where it is. Uh, no. So. Yeah, so after the straight, yeah. you have this 90 degree corner to the right, yeah. then this Sabine Schmitz curve to the yeah, left, yeah, yeah. and then you start descending down. Yeah. The first curves on to the right, yeah. and then to the left, to the left, to the kilometer side. Yeah. Basically, from this sharp right-hander, you can keep it flat till the two kilometer sign, yeah. because you already went on the brakes at the, at the right curb a bit, or, or yeah. lifted. So there you keep it flat to the two kilometer sign, and at the two kilometer sign you break a bit, yeah. and after the sign you turn in to the right curb. And once okay. you're at the right curb, you can go already flat there. Right. So there, you, like on these first three corners, you can win already a lot of time yeah. because you carry so much speed through there. Um, and the other one that I noticed was actually Breitscheid. Uh, so in Adenau, you know the concrete wall? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so like uh, there you can go a lot closer to the wall. Okay. So basically you like try to keep, because then you can carry was more speed. Was it after we there. overtook the E46? No, no, before, no? before. Before that. Because so you can go up on the curbs on the right side? No, yes. no, no, no. Avoid the curves because they're quite high. Yeah, okay. They have, it's not, they don't go like this, no. they go first like this and then they go like that ah, okay so you a lot of feel yeah if you go straight on it yeah it's okay but it's only like a, a f up savior yeah right. it, you don't don't use it no, because okay. that will <laughs> mess you up really uh okay. and one point as well so this double curb you know Vipaman left yeah. right yeah. Uh, before you go into each of corner mm -hmm. so the curbs was okay but then you position yourself left and you break a bit too late, yeah. so we understeered actually out of the corner to to yeah. Eschbach. So break sooner. There's a fence, one num number 158. Yeah. 
that's a nice breaking point. Okay. You break a bit sooner yeah. uh, because actually afterwards you go uphill, so yeah. the car slows down itself already as well. Yeah, okay. And then you have also a better way to position yourself to go yeah, into the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these few things, would that, that will get you the sub 730 yeah. that you need. Like ah, even okay. the first three things already probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you carry, most important thing, this is a momentum track. Yeah. It's about having the balls to carry the speed through yeah, the exactly, corners. Exactly. That's the only thing. Yeah. The rest is just like, yeah, and how fast mm -hmm. you're willing to accelerate. Yeah. But with this car, you have plenty of power, so. Yeah, 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 it should, I mean, the should definitely do. I mean, now I'm measuring uh, BTG, so. It's yeah, not yeah, even yeah. No, exactly, no. exactly. No, that, that's what I mean. That, I guess that's what you're aiming for, 730 yeah. BTG. Yeah, exactly. that, that, that's, that's doable, easy. Yeah. With, with this setup, uh, like I said, those few things, it's uh, that alone is gonna get you the, the time you need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, well, All thanks. Right. Thank you. And uh, see you later. How long are you staying? Uh, we're still staying until Sunday, but if it's, rain, if it's, if it's raining tomorrow, we're probably not going to okay. go out. But, but you're all the time at Apex, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, then see you there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Good.